You don't like a guy. You don't have to uh, kill him publicly because nobody wins in that situation. Well, he said he would never apologize. Uh, Not even at gunpoint. Uh, but as you know, I always carry a gun with me. <laughs> This is serious. Charles Barkley, Pippen, trying to get down to that low box. Pippen says you're not getting it. Charles says I am getting it. Pippen comes around and takes the front. Charles comes back, tries to reach that. Perhaps shades of the game against the Angola Magic. Barkley, after he comes around his teammate, a little shot with the elbow. And that's just to let Pippen know if, if we reach the finals, you reach the finals, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this was only the all-star game. For over 30 years, Scottie Pippen and Charles Barkley have been going at it. Even till this day, they are still sending shots at each other. Help me understand what's going through Scottie Pippen's mind right now. Ooh. <laughs> you need Dr. Phil. <laughs> you need everybody. Scottie Pippen also made some comments about Charles Barkley. So he was talking about Barkley. He said, I never apologize to him, but I'll tell you what. He only got arrested for throwing some little white guys out of a window. I ain't never seen him fight a black man unless there are referees around. He plays his role like he's tough, but I don't know nobody he's done whooped. Go back and check his record. He's taking shots at me, um, and I'm just laughing because I'm like, yo, man, you do know we're like 60 years old. We don't have beefs anymore. We're like 60. Even their time as teammates in 1999 with the Houston Rockets ended badly. No two words like fat butt serve as a clear indication of how you feel about a teammate. Scottie Pippen used those words to describe now former fellow Rocket Charles Barkley. For him to want to leave after one year just disappointed me greatly. I wouldn't get Charles Barkley an apology at gunpoint, so he could never expect an apology from me. If anything, he owed me an apology for coming and play with his sorry fat butt. Being a selfish guy, uh, he doesn't show me the desire to want to win. and. Uh, that's my reason for wanting to get away from playing with, with, with him anymore. Because he don't show the dedication. And uh, I probably should have listened to Michael a year ago when he said that Charles never will win a championship because he doesn't show any dedication. They faced each other a total of 43 times in NBA games. Scotty has a 28 and 15 winning record over Charles Barkley, including an 11 and 4 record in the playoffs. Earlier, Charles, you had said, no Michael, no ring. I don't care how well the Bulls are doing during the regular season. In the crunch, they need him in those clutch moments. Scottie Pippen, among other things, just said uh, on tape with us, Charles is the kind of guy who points fingers at everybody unless things are going well. And come June, he'll be blaming his teammates in the front office and everything else. Always said, come late June, Charles be criticizing his teammates, the franchise, and everybody that he can point a finger at. Their most iconic battles was in the 1993 NBA Finals, the two went to war. In a series that people expected to be MJ versus Barkley, it ended up being a personal battle between Pippen and Barkley. Playing against the old Phoenix Suns, who let people bully them around and intimidate them. We're not like that anymore. Uh, and if anybody says anything to my teammates, they're going to have to go through me. Programs regularly scheduled will not be seen at this time so that we may bring you exclusive coverage of the Bulls and Suns in the NBA Finals. I don't care what anybody says, we believe that it's our destiny to win a world championship this year. In Game 1, the Bulls won, Scotty had 27 points and 9 rebounds, and Charles finished with 21 and 11. After game 1, I got great shots in Game 1, I just didn't make any. But ain't no one player can guard me, and y'all can write that down. I missed some shots in Game 1, but they can't go out maybe one guy like y'all would like to believe. Game 2 was another victory for the Bulls in which Pippen finished with a triple-double, 15, 12, and 12. Barkley finished with an amazing 42-point game. Phoenix Suns got their first victory in Game 3. Charles had 24 points and 19 rebounds. Scotty had 26 points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists. Game 4 was won by the Bulls. Pippen had 14 points and 10 assists. Charles Barkley had a triple-double, 32, 12, and 10. In Game 5, the Suns were able to get another victory. Charles finished with 24, 6, and 6. Scotty had 22, 6, and 5. He's going to be talking to Scotty Pippen, telling him, you can't guard me. 
you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take you to the basket. But he didn't score the basket. Get the idea. Charles a little too tense for these games. <laughs> Takes it too seriously. Well, right now, only thing he can do is... They were riding him out on their hips, and that's the reason he didn't finish the play. It counts in the foul. He's going to feel Williams, and he's going to spin on him, but then he's going to dunk it right over Scottie Pippen. Johnson. Worlds between Charles Barkley and Scottie Pippen. To give Kevin Johnson a breather. Charles continue right here to tell Scottie Pippen, you can't guard me. If you want to know how all the trash talking got started, it was on this play. And after this play, Charles Barkley started telling Scottie Pippen, you can't guard me, I'm not going anywhere. And then after uh, Charles had scored that play, then Scottie came right back and scored on Charles and said, I'm not going anywhere either. Now, finally, Charles Barkley and the Phoenix Suns have realized that, hey, we can be friends off the court some other time, but we can't be friends on the court and try to win a championship. Pippen is rejected by Barkley. Not good about it. By Jordan, who was able to elevate, extend in the air as he made certain he had someone to pass the ball to. When there was some bumping and shoving going on, and Charles reminded him once again that that was me that got that block. 3.35 remaining in this fourth quarter. The Bulls 100, the Suns 94, Charles and Scotty. In the final game of the series, Bulls won again. Charles had 21 points and 17 rebounds despite the loss, and Scotty finished with 23 points and 12 rebounds. On offense, Scotty Pippen realizes that Miller can't move his feet. It's a matter can he elevate over Charles? He certainly can. In Barcelona, riding home from practice one day, Charles Barkley stood up and said, hey, the Phoenix Suns will be in the world championship. So he was feeling good about himself until Michael Jordan did stood up and said, look, Charles, it's only four guys on this team with world championship rings, and you're not one of them, so sit down.